Today, you're going to learn the difference between 4.3 and 16 by 9. I know, you may be new to FBV and you just got some goggles. And you wonder to yourself, should I be flying in 4 by 3? Or should I be flying in 16 by 9? But don't worry, I'm going to help you. I'm going to teach you which one is right. Because people have very many opinions. But most of those opinions are wrong. So we're going to look at the facts. And we're going to set matters straight, okay? Don't worry, Papi's here to save you. I'm your FPV lifeguard. <laughs> Today I'm going to tell you why 4x3 is more superior and better than 16x9. It can be very confusing, and you may have just got into FPV. If you have, congratulations. You may have just got yourself some DJI goggles. If so, congratulations. If you're on analog, well, that's, that's great too, I like analog. I, I fly analog and HD0, DJI, all of it, because all of it is wonderful for different people with different tastes. I do like analog though. So like if you're about to like get into FPV and choose things, start off with analog, it's fine. You get better equipment for cheaper. Like, you know, every time you fly, you can go to town. Well, if you're gonna fly gentle, fly GGI, but if you wanna just go to town and destroy everything, Fly analog, just do it. Be a man, do the right thing. You'll save yourself money, you'll have just as enjoyable experience. But let's get back to the topic of 4x4.43 four th four and 16x9. So, you may be thinking that 4.3, why would you want to fly this? This is smaller than this, this is bigger, so you're going to be able to see more, experience more, and show everyone on YouTube, it'll look a lot better. And that's the reason lots of people fly 16x9, because they want to be able to upload their videos and have it look nice. But I got a solution for that at the end of the video. But here's the truth about 16x9. This is the truth about 16x9. When you're flying in 16x9, you're not getting a full sensor that's 16x9 unless the camera... Certain, like, cameras only have a 16x9 sensor, so if that's the case, then that's all you got. But most cameras have a 4x3 sensor, and this means that when you're watching 4x3, you're getting the full sensor. And then when you're flying in 16x9, you're not actually using this whole sensor. You're only using part of the sensor. So your picture, I, I used to think that you're just getting 4x3 and it's getting stretched. Or, you know, you're just getting more picture. But you're not getting either of those things. You're actually having the top of the sensor cut off and the bottom of the sensor cut off. So you're getting less field of view. And what is field of view? Field of view is the whole field that you get to see. And because you're watching it in 16 by 9, you're losing that. So, you, so you're missing out on this whole part, and then this part's going to be not as clear. Whereas when you're looking at it in 4 by 3, it's going to be super clear. So I hope that you understand that. We're going to be looking at three different options just so that you can see for yourself and I can use it as an excuse to make you watch me fly for a bit. But first here we're looking at the 16 by 9 and this is when I'm flying in my DJI goggles and I have it set to 16 by 9 and you can just see how it looks and this is not going to be as clear. Everything's going to be a little bit closer to you and it's really just not going to be as good.
Now we're gonna look at a video in four by three. This is basically giving you truly what is coming off the sensor. You're getting the whole image off of the sensor. You're getting to see everything that's there. You're getting more detail. Nothing's getting cut off the top or the bottom. And this is the best way for you to fly. Uh, you get more detail. You get to see more. That means you, it, it's just better. This is the best way to fly. So fly in four by three. But now, how are you supposed to now deal with, you know, having the cut off edges if you're posting your DVR onto YouTube? Well, I have a simple solution for, well, it's, is it simple? I have a solution for that. Now that you've seen the 16 by nine and the four by three, what we're gonna show you, what I'm going to show you is the four by three image and how you can take your four by three image, whether it's on analog or digital or from an action cam you can take any 4x3 footage and follow the directions in this next video and it's going to show you how you can basically take the 4x3 footage and stretch it into 16x9 and it doesn't actually stretch the whole image it just takes the edge here and it stretches it and the edge here and it stretches it so it ends up looking a lot nicer. <laughs> So whenever you're seeing my videos posted from DJI or analog, lots of the time I do this, I just think it looks a lot better than having the bars. And it's totally free with free software. It's a software called DaVinci Resolve that you can download and it's amazing. You can use it to color grade. You can use it to do all sorts of editing. If you really want, let's say this video gets a thousand likes, I'll make a video about how to use it. I don't really want to, but I'll do it for you if we get a thousand likes. When you're seeing people that are getting into FPV and they are trying to figure out the 16 by nine, four by three thing, send them here and then they can learn and we can help out more people. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe. And what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Just do it! Also, I know you've probably been wondering, how can we uh, show our gratitude and consideration? Well, fear not, for a Patreon is coming along and it, it, you're going to be able to join for as little as one dollar and all the money that comes to me from the drone channel, none of it will be used on me. None of it will be used for fun stuff for me. It's all going to go towards FPV stuff so that I can build more, show more, and teach more. So if you support me, you're not just... You're not giving money to me that I'm... I'm going to have fun with it, but I'm going to have fun with it doing things for you. Everything that you give me, I will give back to you in the form of education and entertainment. Don't you understand that everything I do, I do it for you? I promise. I won't, I won't be spending it on...